now that we have saved all of the maps from the three tasks in this demonstration, let's add them to a dashboard. We can go to the dashboard app by clicking on the search apps field and finding the dashboard app. Create a new dashboard by clicking on the green plus button in the top left corner of the screen. Fill in the dashboard title and a description if you wish. Then, under the search field, search for items to add to this dashboard, search for the maps that you have created, and click on Insert to add them to your dashboard. Organize your maps how you would like them. Then click on Save Changes. The maps you've just added are now available on your dashboard. Maps and dashboards are interactive. The plus and minus buttons allow you to zoom in or out on the map. If you zoom in on an event, you can even view the event details. The button with four arrows allows you to view the map in full screen mode. And the list icon allows you to easily view the layers on the map. That concludes the subsection on using the Maps application to view event data. We hope you found this demonstration useful. Let's highlight what we have learned in this subsection. We described the Maps app interface. We created maps using event data. We used the Maps app to display options and filter values. We alternated between clusters and point data on maps. We modified point options. And we applied styles to option sets to differentiate values. We hope you have been following along with the step-by-step -step activities listed under the videos, but if you haven't, please refer to them for extra practice to help ensure the understanding of the information presented on the Maps app. Also, use the discussion forum to ask questions to other learners or facilitators. Once you have completed the activities and are comfortable with the material, please attempt the graded assignment for this subsection.